how to be more confident on video. Three reasons you may be struggling and how to overcome this. So I wanted to cover off three of the main reasons why people do struggle and how to overcome this to ensure that you're really delivering the best of the best of the best of what you offer through a video presence. So the first one is that too, people are too caught up comparing themselves against everyone else. One of the things I often hear is I've been watching all these other people, now I wanna jump into the ring. I wanna you know, get my video presence out, which is great. But the problem is that they compared themselves against everyone else, first of all, seeing something that they like, whether it's their energy, whether it's the way they talk, um, a witty, or whatever the case is, and they're trying to be someone else, or they're trying to do what someone else is doing. Here's the thing, if you consistently compare yourself against everyone else, you're never, ever going to help yourself. Ever. What you need to do is you need to compare you against you. So block out everyone else, put the horse blinkers on and start looking at what is your message? What are your characteristics that make you, you? And what are the things that are really going to help people call out what's already potentially been working in your business, why people love you already, and let's scale this online through a digital presence. Stop comparing yourself against everyone else. So point number two, what will people say? This is such a big unconscious thing that if you ask yourself, like I, I go through this question process to really, you know, if I hear someone's got nerves and everything else, one of the biggest things that they're, they're concerned about is what other people are going to say, whether it is competitors, family, friends, um, especially if they're going public with a message that they've never been public about before. Point number two, what will people say? So this is one of my biggest things that I struggled with and I see quite often through a lot of different people. What are people going to say? Now here's the thing, you think about everyone who's going to see your videos. So you, you, you're obviously your ideal clients are hopefully going to see your videos if it's set up right. Um, family, friends, um, people who have been following you for a while, even some people who may not like you, right? So you can get caught up in what everyone's going to say. Everyone, right? Or you can get caught up in what the people who care are going to say. And this, is, this really helped me. So when I'm standing in front of a camera, I'm not thinking about people who are not going to get value out of my message. I'm thinking about the people who are Focusing on the people who are going to get value out of it then allows me to bring the best of the best of the best of what I offer, the value that I bring, so that as I do talk through it, I'm thinking about that specific person. I'm thinking about their needs, wants, desires. Focusing and almost being narrow-sighted on what the people who care are going to say is ultimately going to help with your video confidence. And my last point, point number three, is all around your message and what you're saying. Now, sometimes people can get nervous because they feel like they're, they're being too salesy. I know that I'm trying, I've got to try and sell and I've got to try and make money through this or something like that. And they get caught, all caught up in that. What I want you to know and understand is that if you are jumping on camera, and you are coming from a place of service, regardless of whether you know someone does end up buying your product or services or whatever the case is, but you come first with value. You stand, sit, whatever you're doing, and you really, really care enough to serve who it is that you're talking to, I promise that you're going to bring out the best of your content. You're going to bring out the best in your message and if you are consistently serving, the, the, tr like the money will follow, the, the transactions will follow, but that's not why you're jumping on camera. You're jumping on camera, you're jumping in business, and you're doing what you're doing because you help, problem you help solve problems in one way or another. You help people, you help businesses. And so if you really focus in on the service of what you're doing, rather than the transactional side of it, you're going to bring so much more to the, to the table and you're going to bring out the best in what you have to offer. I hope those tips helped. Love you and leave you. Go get it.